Hi right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, today we're going to talk about selecting the right field goal block and the right kickoff tee. This is very applicable to not only you kickers and punters out there, but more importantly, the parents, the coaches, and uh, different people out there that might not know the facts versus the myths about selecting the right equipment. Um, here, just so you know, for starters here, these are a couple different, um, this is a two inch field goal block. This is a one inch field goal block named just because of their their width, uh, their depth here, two inch and a one inch. And this is a two inch kickoff tee. It's about two inches, not exactly. And this is a one inch kickoff tee, which uh, all the NFL and colleges use. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get into this here. Main reason I'm shooting this today is because I've been hearing a lot lately about some of my students are going to camps and coming back with misinformation from other uh, either camp instructors or uh, coaches uh, having the wrong idea that you, you need to kick off the ground by your junior year of high school. That's completely wrong. That's not correct at all. Uh, case in point, I have probably four or five kids from last year that used either a one inch or a two inch field goal block or a one inch or, two, or, or even a two inch kickoff tee last year that got uh, division one scholarships from top programs across the country. So get that out of your minds right now. If you guys are a junior and senior using a one inch or two inch block or tee, don't fret, don't worry about it. You don't have to all of a sudden throw out your tee and start kicking field goals off the ground. It's not like that at all. So why is there two different tees, a one inch and a two inch? Well, uh, basically it's a transition to teach you to kick off the ground eventually. For any youth player, when I say youth, I mean anything as young as five or six, all the way through about 12, 13, even 14, which would be like a JV in high school, uh, you're looking to be using a two inch field goal block. That is this one right here. Okay, so that's the two inch, this is the one inch. Any of you guys under, basically your junior year of high school, absolutely a two inch, a no brainer. If you're a junior or senior in high school that's exhibiting like a, a college leg where you really think you have a, a realistic chance of playing college, whether it be D3, D2, D1, whatever, then I absolutely recommend going to the one inch, maybe your junior, if not your, uh, definitely your senior year, to basically uh, get prepped up for the transition to kicking off the ground. But it's not required by any means. So when do you want to kick off the ground, right? Uh, there's a couple reasons you would kick off the ground. Number one, you have to uh, if you're playing college or the pros. So basically after your senior year of high school, then I recommend getting rid of the one inch or the two inch and just learning uh, cold turkey off of the ground. You don't need to sort of teeter-totter with it throughout the season, your junior or senior year, because it's going to screw up your form. Uh, when, what other circumstances might you, you kick off the ground in high school or before college? Well, the only other time I would recommend it is if your ball flight or your trajectory, think of it as a golf shot. If you're hitting more of like a sand wedge and the ball's going straight up, straight up and straight down and spinning too much, it might be a plant foot issue or it might be maybe your tee is too high and you've basically graduated to a lower tee. Then go ahead and try a one inch or off the ground. Otherwise, if you're hitting a good ball, knocking that ball straight, no turn, no hook, no no curve, no slice, whatever, and the ball's going straight with a nice slow end over end hit, and you're making most of your kicks, stick with whatever you're using, then worry about uh, the T issue after high school. Okay, uh, the other thing is kickoffs. So kickoff tees, again, uh, we have a one inch kickoff tee used uh, have to use by the uh, college and professional kickers, whether it be NCAA, NFL, um, Arena Football League, Canadian Football League, or other, or Indoor Football League. Two inch, none of those uh, mentioned can use a two inch. Only youth and high school could use a two inch, okay? So who uses a two inch? I recommend the two inch to any youth football player, absolutely uh, starting in the Pee Wee level, the American Youth Football, the Pop Warner Leagues, uh, probably through your sophomore year of high school. Then your junior year and senior year of high school, again, it, uh, the same principles apply. If you're exhibiting a college caliber leg, go to the one inch your junior year or maybe your senior year. Uh, again, I had a guy uh, a couple years ago, he kicked his two inch kickoff tee through his senior year, still got a division one scholarship. Uh, the coaches are more concerned about your, your distance and your hang time uh, more so than they are about if you're using a one inch versus a two inch on a kickoff tee. It's not that much of a difference. Uh, distance wise, it's about three yards difference, give or take, not exact. And hang time wise, I could safely say you'll probably add about 
0.1 to 0.2, that's a tenth to two tenths of a second on your hang time by using a two inch versus a one inch. So yes, you will lose a little bit by going to the one inch, but if you're looking to play in college, probably your junior or senior year switch. Don't wait till after college for your one inch, or till after high school. The other thing is your field goal distances. So on a field goal, uh, the main difference on your tees is uh, number one, your plant foot. You're just gonna need to be a little bit more deeper so if I'm a righty and I'm planning, I would probably want to step a little bit deeper than I would on this one because the ball's higher. So to hit the sweet spot on the ball, you're going to need to step a little bit further back on a two inch to catch it at the right point versus a one inch. Since the ball is a little lower, you want to step a little deeper to catch, catch the foot on the sweet spot at the right moment of impact. Okay. And then the other difference is really a two inch is going to give you about three yards extra uh, distance and a little bit more lift or trajectory or initial height off of the kick versus a one inch. So all in all, um, I hope those that helps you to weigh your options. Uh, just a quick recap, uh, use a two inch through your sophomore year of high school. If you're exhibiting a college leg, switch to, to the one inch field goal and the one inch uh, kickoff to your junior year through high school. If you don't really have any intentions of college or you're not quite there yet, stick with the two inch through high school. There's nothing wrong with it. So if you guys hear this stuff at camps of kids saying, oh, you kick off the two inch tee, you stink. Just ignore it and remember this video, okay? I wish you the best of luck in your football career, whether it be youth, high school, college, or even professionally. Thanks again for watching and have a great year.